Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shania and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the essentials of being a woman. Really, this applies to anyone, so you don't have to be a woman. So let's get started. So we're going to go through a few categories. So of course, beauty, which includes skin and hair. And then we have health, lifestyle. So these things are like rules, tips, and tricks. They are a law to me. You do not have to include them, but I think they're very helpful. And some of these things are things I wish I would have known when I was younger. So let's get right into it. So for skin. So for number one, you never want to skip a day of taking a shower. I know there's been some controversy on whether or not you should be bathing, but I say bathe every day. If not, bathe twice a day. It depends on what you're doing throughout the day. So if you like to work out, you definitely need to be taking two showers. And when you do take a shower, you need to get every Thing. you need to get behind the ears you need to get the neck and then I also advise getting like a scrubber so there's like this African sponge and it's super good for your skin and it gets it nice and smooth it helps with discoloration so I definitely advise using that and also applying Dettol if you have any breaking of the skin lacerations having any acne and it's recovering you need to act on it immediately so I'll go through how I work on it but you definitely want to be proactive when it comes to your skin because if you wait too long then scarring happens and you have to get rid of the scar and next you only want to use healthy products so if you don't have the yuka app definitely download it it is free and you just scan the products and it tells you exactly what's in them what is their scale from a scale of 100 and you definitely want to use everything above 80. So I like to use things that are 100 out of 100, but you know, it's kind of hard to find products in your area that are all the way to 100. So it takes a lot of researching. So I think that's a very great app to have. You'll realize how much products that you use right now are not healthy for you. If you have like an issue with your hair and skin and you don't see it progressing, it might be that product. Also, don't further irritate your skin. Let it breathe. If you're having like an acne moment or a blemish moment or a rash moment, let your skin breathe. Let it be natural for a few days and just let it restore itself. You don't always have to do too much to restore your skin. So for something that's very essential for your body and skin and hair is get a journal. So in this journal, you're going to keep up with what products that you're using, what's new in your routine, and see how each thing affects you. You can notice the differences after you journal after a while. You realize, oh, this works. This doesn't work. This makes me break out. This is what I need to stop using. This is very essential. This is like a key to a healthy journey. Please understand that all products do not work the same on every individual. So if you see a review over a product, you really need to test it out. Maybe get like a sample and try it out for a week or two and see if it's really for you. And now when it comes to the hair and scalp. So if you have acne prone skin, you definitely don't want to wash your hair with nothing protecting your skin. Never understood like when I would have like breakouts on my skin, I'd be like, what is going on? And it only happened when I washed my hair. It's because whatever's in these products, they're not good for your skin, especially if you're in the shower. So what I like to do is I wear a t-shirt, try to wear like swimming gear so like the dyes are not like seeping into your pores. But I always try to wear something on my body while I'm washing my hair and trying to like lean over if there's any dirt or the shampoo or conditioners they don't react with your skin so you just kind of like lean over with the water and do everything off your body or just do it over the sink but who's trying to kill their neck washing their hair so I like to just put something on and lean over so for hair growth you want to make sure you're massaging your head daily massage that scalp get like a nice herbal oil I'll link it in the cards above lean your head upside down and like massage your head that way it does have a lot of benefits of putting your head over you're letting oxygen from the blood rush to your head and give everybody its necessary nutrients have that journal ready to go so you can observe what products are working for you and what's not working so you don't keep buying the wrong things try many different styles with your hair don't just stick to one thing unless that's just your look you love it it ain't going nowhere if you're still in limbo you don't really know what's your look try different things trying different cuts and try things where you can gradually get into something so if you want like a big super cut and your hair is long maybe do like a medium cut and then see how that works out and then when you're ready do the actual big chop because you don't know what's gonna work out for you until you do it like with my hair, I don't really care to stretch it anymore because I'm comfortable with this cut. I like the way this cut looks on me. So I'm not like putting extra heat into my hair to make it look longer. Really the beauty of my hair and black hair is when it's up and it's tall and it's big. So it's really up to you and what you like and what you desire, what looks good on you. So now we're going to get into the physique, the physical health of the body. So you definitely want to do yoga 
exercise or walking every day. Never let a day go by and you're not doing something for your body. By not doing these things, then your body can really just like gain a lot of weight because that fat is not being burned off daily. And also consume vegetables and fruits every day. This is a given. So America pushes bad food and bad diets, fast food down your throats. So you really need to make sure you're eating the fruits and vegetables to like balance everything out. If you're just having an alkaline diet that is beautiful and great, but for the people that is not there yet or doesn't plan to get there definitely do the fruits and vegetables all the time and also this helps with body odor so if you're someone that struggles with that definitely look into your diet make sure your fruits and vegetables are incorporated into your meals every day so definitely take your vitamins daily it's very hard to get 102 minerals that you need every single day unless you're like on the high alkaline diet whatever you feel like is lacking in your diet you definitely want to take vitamins so that your body can heal itself and get it ready for each day so with that journal that i mentioned earlier for your skin and your hair you also want a section in that journal that just discusses your goals your body your health you just want to write down a few things that you would like to accomplish by the end of the year by the end of the three months whatever increment that you want to do it at that is at your discretion but you definitely want to like put down goals so this is something that we all struggle with but we definitely all need to cook more so if you cook a lot already like seven days of the week you're cooking okay you already there you're on the right track but if you're someone that eats out constantly try to cook more it is healthy Healthier for you and then also it's less expensive like who has you know $30 to spare every single day on food 30 days out the month 365 come on that's a lot of money now we're gonna talk about life so for life you definitely want to make sure you're meditating so early in the morning take like five to ten minutes at nighttime take about 10 to 20 minutes and just sit in silence sit in stillness you just want to just clear your mind life is so busy and your mind is constantly going it's good to just sit in silence and just like let it all go release toxic energy you might have consumed that day release anything bad release all the stress from that day and it really regroups your mind so when you go to sleep your body is rejuvenating it's killing fat cells it's getting the body ready for the next day so like meditation is kind of like that in a way so along with meditation you definitely want to get into manifesting so you probably already do this, but you want to do it in a way that's very positive. Positive thoughts. You want to say positive things. If you're sending out into the world bad, negative, toxic energy, then you might attract that energy back to you. And say positive things to yourself and say positive things to other people. And it's manifestations for all different types of things. So if you go online, you can say manifestations for money. You can say manifestations for health, manifestations for happiness, manifestations for love. There's a manifestation for everything but you only want to use the positive ones so you might feel like there's a flaw there's something that you don't like about yourself work on it but be kind to yourself be loving to yourself be generous with yourself if nobody else in the world is gonna love and treat you like a queen or a king you need to do it for yourself and eventually that energy will come to you and also you want to get another journal this journal is meant for your thoughts it's meant for you to just release anything that you're feeling going through in your head or in life you want to write that down in your pad and you just review it and it's like it's such a relief so when you used to have a diary when you were younger and you were writing your thoughts out you would feel better you can move on and go play outside but it's like with us as an adult we don't journal enough and that leads to a lot of pent-up energy bad energy in you and it can stress you out can make your hair fall out so it's just so many things that are beneficial when it comes to writing journaling being creative making art and also appreciating your inner child tap into what you used to like to do as a kid and try to do them now and you'll see like how much happier you'll be no matter what you do in life always try to be joyous be grateful have grace with yourself have grace with others and be aware be aware of who you are be aware of others be aware of how you're coming off to others so it's something that keeps me organized and it keeps me always motivated is planning scheduling and filling out a planner so whatever I'm gonna do that day, I write it out. I'm gonna meditate this time. I'm gonna make some tea this time. I'm gonna get myself together during this time. This helps me knock things out and I'm not feeling like I'm productive for the day. If I know I need to do something by a certain deadline, I'm gonna make sure I provide a time throughout that week to make sure I get it done. Another thing when it comes to scheduling and planning, you wanna make sure you're consistent and you follow through with those plans. You never just wanna say, oh, I'm not feeling it. Let me just not do it, do it. 
because like if you're ever working out and you're just like oh my god I, I don't think I can do anymore once you pass that threshold the next day you can do even more you can do even more you don't want to stay stagnant so always keep going push over push over push over I promise it will get easier and you'll become stronger whether that's working out your mind your health it doesn't matter so you definitely want to unplug for an hour so you just want to step away from all your electronics yes technology is great but it's really over consuming our lives so it's like you're on your phone you're on your laptop you have your airpods and you have your headphones you listen to music it's just so much stimulation we don't know the effects of technology right now because we're really going through like the test the trial phase so unplug for a few hours and just try to you know be a human and <laughs> lastly for life you just want to be confident you want to be loving you want to make sure you self-love yourself so whatever you want to do deep down in your heart you know you do that actually the things that you really want to do but you never do it because you feel like oh nobody wants to do it with me just do it anyway go out by yourself go to a bar by yourself go eat out by yourself and you'll find that your company is enough like for me for example i wanted to go dancing a few weeks ago and nobody wants to go but i wasn't gonna stop my plan i'm not gonna deter myself from what i want to do because nobody else wants to do it so I went ahead and went to the club by myself I had so much fun I felt so empowered I felt so strong I just felt like I could do anything because I did it by myself I did that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I definitely enjoyed making it I'll have some more tips and tricks for being a woman or just being a person so please like comment and subscribe and I thank you so much for watching this video and have a good one guys peace